I will read the problem. Listen carefully. A straight line AB has its end A 20 mm above the HP and 30 mm in front of the VP. And the other end B is 80 mm above the HP and 70 mm in front of the VP. Draw the projections and find its true length and true inclination distance between end projectors. is 50 mm. So here yeah, you have to cast the thing what is meant by end projectors. End projectors are nothing but I will explain from the previous problem. So this is the end point. This is the end point. Projectors mean the line of alignment what we are drawn projected to the other view. So this is projector line. This is the project line. This is the distance between the projectors. So that has been given here. So now just come into this problem. So what has been given? The line AB not known the length but point end point conditions are known. So what the end point conditions given? A is 20 mm above the HP, 30 mm in front of the VP and the other end B is 80 mm above the HP and 70 mm in front of the VP. Draw the projections and find its true length and true inclinations when the distance between the projectors is 50 mm. So in this one you have to just keep remember fundamental concept. I try to explain once again so how to get it. In the previous problem once you check just check back I am just roughly explain. So what we did when a line given whenever line given suppose some x length and theta has been given and pi also given. Theta mean HP inclination, pi mean vertical inclination, vertical plane inclination, end point is also given. So what we did whenever the incline with the both the planes we are not able to draw directly. So that's why what we did here we drawn the XY reference line first. After that we take in the assumption 1. With assumption 1 we are taking parallel to VP. So with this one above HP and with some inclination of theta I drawn a line. This is theta. Now the respective front view I drawn. This is known as a top view length. This is a with assumption front view. So let this is A dash. This is the B dash. This is A. This is the B. Next we are moved for the second assumption. What the assumption? Parallel to HP. Whenever parallel to HP I have to take the VP conditions. So in front already there with the pi inclination I drawn true length one side. This inclination is pi. Now corresponding I drawn here. I named it as a B1. So this is a B1 dash. After that what we did? So we did in the reverse process. We are drawn a locus line here. We drawn a locus line here. After that with the compass A as center, A B as center we drawn. Where it meets we are saying that is a B2. A dash as center, A B dash as the radius. I drawn R. So where it reached I am saying the B2 dash. So once I are getting I am connecting with a dash B2 dash A and B. We are saying this is the top view and this is the front view. Now logic you understand. So now what is the projectors? This is the one end point. This is the other end point. This has been given in this problem. So what the distance between the projectors? 50 mm. After that end point conditions given. What are the end point condition given? 20 mm above and 30 mm in front. Of that other end point conditions given 70 80 mm above this one is 80 mm above this one is 70 mm in front. So indirectly this front view has been given top view has been given is asking to find its true length and true inclination. That means in the previous case this is known this is known this is known this is known from here we are making journey to here. Now I want to just make it reverse. Reverse mean now this is available. I have to find this one and to find this one. I have to find this one. That means indirectly. So what are the things you have to keep in mind? I have to represent the same front view on top view. That means I have to draw here. Let front view. Final view so I am talking. So in the same respective I may get this as a top view. Okay you have to make the reverse journey. Reverse journey mean this locus line, this is the initial line. You have to just make reverse. Once you are making the reverse, from there I have to draw the line until it meets the locus line. So then I have to join this point and this point. This gives the true length. Similarly for that side, I have to just move back, that is the reverse. Draw the arc reverse. From there I have to just draw the until the locus line. Then I have to join. This is theta. 
this is fine. So when the one sometimes whenever the information about the projections given, ask to find the true length, the morning, whatever, just before we have discussed the problem, from the line two, we are moved to the front view and top view. So now the front view, top view information has been given. You have to just get back in the same way how we are approached to find the solution. So like this one. From here, you are coming here. Now this is available. You have to make the reverse and you are going to the initial position. So in this problem also, we have to do the same thing. So for the things, what has been given here, a straight line AB given, but line length is not known. Endpoints given clearly A as well as B. So with the given information, I have to construct. So for that one, so what the thing required I need here, first draw the usually the XY reference line to be drawn. XY reference line first. Please use many rafter. Now identify the plane areas vertical plane and horizontal plane. So now the distance between the projectors has been given. So what the distance between the projectors has been given? 50 mm. Blindly just draw a projector at a distance of 50 mm. Why? Because the distance between the projectors has been given as 50 mm. So at the distance of 50 mm, I have to draw one more projector. So the end projectors nothing but end points has to be located on this line on this line. So now coming to the problem. So take the first initial condition. So what the initial condition of the point has been given? Just I am reading the point so that you can just keep remember here what has been given. The end location end A. So A has been given that means A dash how much 20 mm above HP. Next 30 mm in front of VP. Similarly other end point given. The other end B is 80 mm above HP and the corresponding B point 70 mm in front of AP. So now with the given information are able to first construct the front view and top view with the given. So now let the take A dash is the 20 mm along the one project that is the initial point I may get 20 mm. So this we can speak A dash. So next how much distance in front? So measure 30 mm here. 1, 2, 3. 30 mm. So this is the A point. Next B dash given. How much it is? 80 mm above. So along the line, I have to measure 80 mm. So this is of B dash. Similarly, B to be measured. So while the B measure distance is 70 mm, approximately you are getting this is of B. So now simply join A dash with B dash. Join A dash, B dash, and similarly join A and B. This A and B represents top view, where A dash B dash represents the front view. So once you are confirmed, this is the final top view, final front view, you are there. So from this one, you have to get back to get the actual lens and act. So for this one, what are the need here? Same as the earlier case, here also we need the locus of end plane. So where the locus of end plane we are getting? So exactly at the end of the line, I can draw locus line here. Similarly, for other case also, I have to draw here locus line. This is the locus of end point. This is the locus of end point. Now you have to reverse approach. You have to take the compass. With the compass, this front view length as the radius, you have to draw the arc reverse up to where? Up to the initial line. Just mention so that. This is a simple reference line. Similarly, we need for the other view also simply draw a initial lines. Now take the compass. We need in the reverse just what we did in the previous problems. We are did from here to here. So now take the reverse journey. This front view as the radius. You have to draw the R reverse until you are getting the initial point. So once you are getting the initial point, it has to be connected to the end point. It has to be connected to the locus of end line. So from there you have to run the line, you have to run the line until it touches the where they are getting the locus line. If this point has to be connected with the initial point, this represents the true length. If you are measure this inclination, since it is a top view, top is the details of vertical plane. If you are measure this inclination, this gives the information about the vertical plane inclination. Similarly, you have to proceed other side. To get the other side, what you have to do? Now take the compass, A as the center, this top view length as the radius, draw the arc in reverse. Once you are getting the arc in the reverse, so from there you have to draw the line until it meets the locus of end point. You have to draw the line until it touches 
locus of endpoint. So once you are getting the locus of endpoint, this point is the so now join this a dash with b point. So what you are supposed to represent is again true length here. So now this is the true length. So what the inclination you are supposed to being the front view you are representing. Front view is the details of horizontal plane. So this is a horizontal plane inclination. So now just simply connect. So now this is the true length. Again you can measure this is the true length. So both the cases are getting. So measure with the scale how the true length you are getting. So if you are measure this true length, I am getting approximately 9 centimeter. Here also same line length you are representing. You are getting also 9 centimeters. So you can just find the answer. What are the answer you are measured? True length measured is 90 mm. Similarly, you have to find is asking the true inclination. So theta is nothing but HP inclination. Inclination with horizontal plane. Okay, measure. Similarly, pi is VP inclination. Vertical plane inclination. For angular measurement, we need to use protractor. So take the protractor and measure the angle of inclination and that will be the answer. So just place the protractor at the origin point and align properly. So by measuring, I can get around 44 degrees. The HP inclination, I am getting the answer as 44 degrees. Whereas the VP inclination, I have to measure here, you are getting 25 degrees. So like that, whenever the problem given from actual length, actual inclination given, you can find the actual top view and front view. If the top view front view has been given, also you can able to find the true lens as well as the true inclination. I can show the same dimension part so that you can finish the our solution part. So always the solution can be finished by proper dimensioning always. So just show the dimension here. Please ensure that what has been given in the problem, those things only are to show in the dimension part. The dimension to be mentioned, the compulsory what has been given in the problem, those things should be represented. So what are the above distance given here? 20 mm. In front given is 30 mm. What has been given here? Above HP is 80 mm. Here how much in front? 70 mm. Besides, you are finding the true length. I can show the dial part of the dimension also so that I can complete the. So now you are able to complete the solution for the given problem. That is a nothing complicated or nothing will be hard. So once you lend concepts wise, every problem you can attempt very completely. If you lend every problem to solution, it is difficult to just make the correct solution. So every time the fundamentally you have to graph the things what has been mentioned. So once you are getting the confidence, how much the problem in the different way may be given, we can just find the solutions very comfortably. So now this problem we did from reverse, that means from the projections to we drawn to the true length and true inclination.